Hey guys, welcome to number 29 of the Derby Career Mode, and in this episode we're going to only be playing two games. I think this is probably going to be one of the shortest episodes ever, and uh, the reason for that is because I want to leave the two uh, cup finals for the finale of this episode. I could have done one massive episode, but I feel like just spreading that out a bit, there is the uh, Europa League final and the FA Cup final, so two massive games, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd play these two games against Leicester and Stoke quite quickly and then get on to the uh, finale quite soon on so we have got a game against Leicester to kick off the episode a nice East Midlands derby obviously we did sign uh, Vardy from them and then we sold him in the January transfer window for a nice bit of money so going into the 16th minute of the match here Dudu with the ball into Vardy who does parry it straight into I think that's Christian Fuchs the left back it does go technically down as an own goal but it was like he slid the ball into me and um, yeah I couldn't really do much about it so yeah, we unfortunately do go 1-0 um, down quite early on, but in the 35th minute of the match here, from a corner, Mikel Antonio on the counter-attack with his pace, and this is why I think England should have taken him, because he is one of them players, like, we haven't really got that many players that can run with the ball and actually have a final product, like Mikel Antonio, and, um, yeah, that's one department England definitely do need to improve on in the future. So, long ball from Christian Fox up to Okazaki, Rojo with a poor header, goes through, through to, uh, I think that's maybe a bear and due from Stoke City, makes it 2-1 just before half-time, five or six minutes after a scoring our first goal in the game. So, not exactly what we were looking for, but in the 68th minute of the match here, Ben Davies winning the ball, putting it through for Werner off the bench, finesses it around the keeper, makes it 2-2 in the game. A really good end-to-end -end match this is against Leicester. Uh, East Midlands derby, obviously, away from home, if we can get the three points, that would be absolutely fantastic. And then the 76th minute of the match here, Werner, wonderful dribbling and uh, pretty much a replica of the first shot that he did have in the game to put it into the back and then he finessed it in essentially the same place to make it 3-2 and to get us three points. So that was actually a really good productive game. I think Leicester, really good 4-4-2 team there. Christian Fox running the show quite nicely and um, yeah, quite even, not much really in it. Mikel Antonio, what a wonderful game he had, one assist, one goal and uh, yeah, essentially won us the game. So I think we are going to have a look at the Premier League table to see how we are. Unfortunately, we've got two games left now. Man United and Chelsea have a game in hand as well. If they win that game, they've essentially won the title, one of those two teams. So I think for this next game against Stoke, if the gap was slightly... Like, we are four points off the top now that Man United and Chelsea have played their game. Unfortunately, Thomas Ince as well wants to leave the club. But it's, it's one of those things, like, everything seemed to be going quite nicely with quite a good position in the Premier League um, but like playing Juventus and Barcelona where we had to play our first team and uh, rest up the team in the Premier League it's just really cost us and that squad depth just missing out on um, getting the Premier League title but it gives us an opportunity to win that in the uh, final season of this career mode so looking at the lineup we are going to be playing pretty much a second team and um, so that we can play our first team in the Europa League and the FA Cup final and um, yeah this is basically the last chance for our uh, backup players to get a game and uh, yeah as long as we get a point in this game I'm pretty adamant that we can get into the top four which we need to do because that is our objective. One player I'm probably going to move on potentially is Chris Martin he's only 72 rated. I've got a lot of players on my shortlist as well who uh, probably are a lot better but you never know we might just need to keep him for the FA Cup and stuff like that so I think we do go for this lineup in the end quite a low rated team I think the Highest is Bardi and goal, obviously he doesn't lose any stamina. But Werner up front, it'll be interesting to see how he does, especially after scoring those two goals against Leicester. So there is the lineup again. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good enough team to get a good point against Stoke. I know they are quite a good team, Stoke City, with um, very good players, obviously Shakiri, Arnautovic. I think they do play Steven Ireland in this game as well. I'm not too sure why he's still playing. I'm not too sure who their striker is as well. Um, Niane, I think that's his name anyway. Never heard of him really. Mbula in the midfield as well. Leitner playing against his former club. Butland in goal. And um, Afalai and uh, Charlie Adam. Glenn Johnson and Josselu on the bench. So going into the th 67th minute of the match here. Second half. Leitner with the ball. Passes inside to Mbula. Really nice passing play from Stoke City. Gets through on goal. Puts it into the back of the net and makes it 1-0. With 20 minutes left of the game. So I think we do go to a 4-2-4. Essentially straight away. And we get a corner. And we get a goal. Musa Dembele with it. We brought him off the bench. He has got like 89 stamina. So even playing the last 20 minutes of this game, it's not really going to affect him because he is one of them players that can just run around for ages. And um, yeah, we do get the point. So 
Not exactly the most interesting of episodes, but the next one is going to be really, really good. we got the Europa League final, the FA Cup final, and um, looking at the table, we have to win that final game against Aston Villa if we are going to get into the top four. And obviously, a team above us is going to have to drop points. We still technically can win the Prem. Whether it's doable or not, we'll have to see in the next episode. So make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and see you soon. Bye.